Hello guys and welcome back to We Are Racing. Today we are doing the one week review of the Cove commuter Bluetooth speaker that we bought from coveaudio.com. Before we do that, I just need you to go click the subscribe. Really helps us when you subscribe guys. We are trying to get our subscriber numbers up for obvious reasons. Um, yes, so that we can build a channel and bring you more awesome content. Alright, let's look at the circle. So far, so good. Still very, very impressed with the, the speaker. Very happy for buying it and very happy with the quality of sound that we actually get from this unit. Let's talk about the unit itself. Solid build, good size, good weight, easy to carry around. These things can get very, very bulky and I found that this one even might sometimes be a little bit in the way, if you know what I mean. Whereas, once you do put it down, once we use it, I use it in my office quite a bit, um, once you do put it down, you can sort of place it out of way. Cove recommends that you use it flat like this on the little base. I often use it upright like that, especially if you want to use the little controls at the top over here. It just makes it easier when it's standing up straight like this. Really doesn't make a difference in my mind on the sound quality, but um, yeah, very impressed with it. Battery life. Battery life, they promised us eight hours. I've used this guy up to nine hours on Bluetooth before it completely cut off. I did make sure that it was fully charged before we started, but so exceeding that what is claimed. It's not a hell of a lot of times these days that you get something that actually exceeds your expectations when you buy something. So battery life, awesome source. Thanks guys. I did also try and use it with the auxiliary cable, in other words bypassing the, the Bluetooth and with that we got more battery life out of the thing obviously because we're not using the Bluetooth there was no notable difference in the in the sound quality like other other units when you plug in the the auxiliary port there's a notable better sound quality this guy is about the same I, I really couldn't hear the difference it, it was the same for us whether we put the bluetooth on or whether we used the auxiliary cable near field communications does not work well i say it does not work i could not get it to work now i'm a geek I like technology, I like everything that opens and closes, I like stuff that moves and I really tried my best to get the, blue, the near field communications to work, I couldn't do it. We did message Cove about that and we've not received a response, a little bit disappointed that, about that, especially if you consider the sales experience that we had with this guy. Now I did mention this in the first video, we ordered this guy on a Thursday night, online after we watched the video from... Chris over at BS for Build, where he offered us a 65% discount. Bought the guy online, it was shipped out, I'm guessing, the Friday, and by Monday I had the unit in my hand. Now that might not seem significant, however, if you consider that we are out in South Africa, and that local post in South Africa can take a week to get to the house, getting this out within three days was absolutely brilliant. When we bought the unit, Cove charged us 43 US dollars, for the shipping of the unit which we felt was sort of fair because it is international shipping but when we collected the unit we had to pay almost that same amount yet again in whatever it is that they made up the guy at the counter claimed that we were short charged for the actual shipping and that was a portion of what we paid for we did email Cove about that um, I think the email address that we used and please don't quote me on this was info at Cove audio.com and we've not received the response we've also not received a, a bounce so we could probably bet on the fact that it was delivered but we didn't get a response back sales process brilliant after sales service um, let's leave that open for discussion right mode button the mode button puts it into a high base or a lower base. Um, it's also referred to as an indoor or an outdoor mode. We've only really used it on the high base mode and that's also when we received nearly nine hours of actual use out of the system. Now granted, I did not max it out on the volume. Yes, we did push it up a few times to obviously show people what it does. Um, but even in the, ba uh, the high base mode, 
we got fairly decent battery use out of this guy. This volume knob at the top of here, while I like it a lot because I think it's pretty cool, is not very precise. It, um, it rather steps the volume up and steps the volume down rather than a sort of a precise just give me a little bit more or a little bit less volume. Once it clicks it goes a step up and a step down and let's call that for the sake of this argument a 5% up or a 5% down which in certain cases can just can be from too soft to a little bit too loud or a little bit too loud to just being too soft. So not very impressed with that guy. Um, and it seems because of the protocols this uses, that same functionality then filters through into the actual phone set. So if you use the volume button on the phone, it's a similar situation. Now, when I connected this uh, to a Samsung smartphone, I noticed that the moment I use the volume knob over here, the volume also changes up and down on the actual phone. So it was it was a one for one relationship between the phone and the and the volume knob here. Whereas when I use this with my Android Huawei phone, this volume knob works off independently of the actual phone. So you can turn up the volume or turn down the volume on the phone and it's completely independent of, of this over here. Which is a bit weird because they're both Android but I guess they each do their own stuff. The skip forward, skip backwards buttons at the top over here, I absolutely love those things. I love the functionality because when you're listening to a song or when you just don't want to listen to a specific song at that point it's a mere flip of the finger over here and it switches to the to the next song no need to unlock the phone no need to press buttons on the phone or get the screen on or wait for anything and then press buttons it just works by the slide of a finger so really well done speakerphone functionality mm, not the greatest i've used it is in fact very soft Everybody that we've tried this out on complains that the, the microphone is too soft, even when you're sitting fairly close to it. So yes, it definitely is more of a personal speakerphone device, and it's probably more aimed at just quickly answering the phone while I'm going to grab the phone in any case to, to have a conversation. We've tried this in a, in a team scenario where we had people in my office and we wanted to do a quick meeting. It, it didn't work. It, it just it's not built for that it, it doesn't work well so speakerphone functionality not the best in the world you also can't dial from here you can only answer your phone reject a call or drop the call that's the only functions that you have in as far as the speakerphone functionality is concerned right so overall rating overall absolutely love the device it's the right size it's the right weight it's got sufficient amounts of volume it uh, gives a sufficient amount of bass it um, gives really good sound quality. I'm very impressed with the sound quality that comes out of this. And as a personal device, it is just perfect. It's not waterproof, as I said pre previously. It's only water resistant. So you can get a little bit rough with it. And at first glance, I think it's going to wear really well. You know, a lot of these things, you buy them and a year in, yeah, they don't look so great. They, they really were built to um, last maybe a couple of months or maybe a year or maybe two years and, and then it really doesn't look great anymore. I think, this is my own assessment, that this guy will wear really well and that even after a year it will still look fairly good. So that's it for the Cove commuter guys. Um, the next video that we're going to do about this guy is we're going to compare this to some other Bluetooth speakers, specifically starting with the JBL Charge 3. So that will be the next video that we're going to do about the Cove commuter and comparing those two products and seeing sort of which one we think is better or worse and in which areas we think it's better or worse. Please leave us some comments if you have any on this uh, on the speaker. Tell us what you think, tell us what your perspective is because remember this is my personal view, it is my one-sided view. Um, I compare it to what my needs are in, in terms of a speaker and this might not be your specific needs in terms of a speaker. So thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and always remember that life is too short to drive boring cars.